Uh oh, sorry. I'll just have to start that diatribe again because my mic wasn't turned on. I'm pretty clever. Ah, life. My face isn't there either. What's going on? I'm really well set up today. Uh, where is it? Where's my face? There's my face. Mind you, you could probably do without my face. It's not the prettiest face in the world, is it? But in... So, um, yes, it's been an interesting morning. Because, of course, it's... Uh, is it an hour earlier for me or is it an hour later? Hmm. I think it's an hour earlier. Maybe not. Maybe it's an hour later. But anyway, whatever. Whichever way it is, computers take care of it these days. We don't have to think about it. The only computers that don't take care of it are those boring ones in the car. But that's okay. So, TS 2022 came out. Now, first up, um, it doesn't change a lot about the software. Now, one thing DTG have said is that fast load is now the default, but I've done a little bit of this testing and I don't think it is. So I don't think that's quite taken hold. So if you're um, using the fast load option, which I highly recommend you do because it makes loading up the game a lot faster. Keep that minus fast load in your Steam properties in the command line. So today we're going to have a look at the new route, Bunstrex Strasbourg Karlsruhe. I probably butchered that a little bit, but that's okay. And we'll also have a quick look over at Washington. Now, the new route, I have to say, is graphically pretty impressive for Train Simulator but functionally it might be a little bit lacking. And I've also had an issue where I'm not actually sure if it's the game or me. Now, the game it has updated, obviously, but I've also had a video driver update, so it could really be either of them, I guess, where I go into this massive stuttery thing and then the video driver crashes. So we'll see if that happens to other people or not. If it does happen during the stream, I have turned off auto end, so if I disappear for a little while, I will do my best to come back, but I'll probably have to reboot. But the stream shouldn't end in theory. So we shall see. Oh, and YouTube's complaining at me again. It says my audio bitrate is too low. Last week it was complaining. It said my audio bitrate was too high. So I turned it down a little bit and now it's complaining it's too low. That's okay. All right, let's just get on with this thing. So the first up we're going to do is we're going to get into one of the scenarios. Now, we're not going to play the whole thing because it's 80 minutes long, and it really is 80 minutes long, and it's a bit like those really long ones where you just play and play and play and play and play and play and play to go away and have a cup of coffee and come back, and it's still going. But anyway, we're going to play the interesting bit of it, and this one is a freight scenario, and it's using the 186... Now we'll just wait for this to load up. Brilliant new logo. Whoever thought to change that one to a two? Oh, brilliant graphic design. Doesn't get better than that. I'm a sarcastic prick today, aren't I? <laughs> now, what is a little bit interesting is uh, the skyline elements <laughs> behind these trains. Um, yep. <laughs> the, the skyline elements behind the trains seem to be a blend of cities. Because I see elements from lots of different cities in them, but maybe lots of different cities just copy each other's buildings. That is always possible. Yeah. Now Google Stream Monitor is saying my stream is excellent condition and there's nothing to worry about. Good O. Now, even though I have to fast load on, this route is so big it takes a long time. I do like this screenshot. Well done, Craigie C, whoever you are. Oh, I forgot to do something today while this is loading up. I forgot to check to see who the new subscribers are. How rude of me. Let's just quickly do that. And we have got... Oh, look, I've got a spammer. Excellent. Okay, I'll deal with that later. Do, 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 do. Scrolling through notifications. Richard. Hello, Richard. And who else have we got? That might be it today. Yep, I think that's it this week. One new subscriber this week. I thought I actually had a couple more, but uh, there's always a bit of discrepancy between the phone app and the YouTube app on PC, and I'm not going to look at the YouTube app right now. Why are we moving? My brakes are, I'm pretty sure, are on. Anyway, that's okay. Let's get some lights on. We're supposed to start moving anyway because the rail driver was set in forward. 
It still thinks we're moving. Look at that. Even though the brakes are on. I guess we actually are moving slowly. We are. Look at that. Ah, dovetail in your trains that just roll away with no brakes. But anyway, we'll stop whining about not having any brakes. You should be in forward. You should already have a pantograph up. You do. So in theory, we can drive. Won't get far, though. And hopefully the brakes will work when I need them to in just a moment. TGV and another freight going past there. One thing I will say about this route is it's pretty busy in the scenarios. They've done nicely with that. Let's see if I can coax. Oh, that's LZB. I don't need LZB anyway. What about PZB? It's the wrong mode, but that's okay. I can't remember how to turn C for on. Initially, I couldn't get those... So we'll see how far I get with PZB running, by the way. Um, initially, I couldn't actually get those modes working, and it turned out to be entirely my fault because the GeForce Experience software was eating the keys. So we've got a red signal coming up. So let's put a little bit of brakes on just to make sure we do actually stop for it. Uh, is it still red? It's got a white light to the next left of it, but I'm going to wait. Because it does change to yellow, and then I'll go. You notice the brakes don't stay on. Push the lever up, brakes come on, but the brakes don't stay on. Oh, there goes our yellow. So we can move again. So interestingly with this train, you get to um, get a little bit of brake force out of the brake handle, but you get more if you push the throttle into the dynamic position, which I think this is the only model like this with rail driver could be wrong oops just slightly over speed there hopefully uh pzb won't attack me for being two miles over or two kilometers over we'll see so we're coming up out of the freight yard onto the main line and the whole premise of this scenario is that some shunting loco is broken down, so you have to go and turn your own train around at the next station. So we're doing that bit. So they're quite nicely modelled. Loads of pink containers. It's nice to have containers with actual brands on, even though some of them are made up, but some of them are real, so... Much better than a whole lot of blank ones. occurred to me I'm not sure what the PZB acknowledge key is on the is it page down yeah that sounds like it lots of flickering on the speed signs going on there give it a bit more oomph There's certainly plenty of scenery going on. And if you go for the... which one is it? That one. There's plenty of modelled stuff. That looks a little cartoony in this view. Probably too close to the bridge to see the reflections. Let's come over here. 
they fixed the uh, problem from the initial stream where the trains didn't reflect. And they now do. I should speed up a bit, shouldn't I? PZB should be over by now. I just noticed there's even different size containers. I don't think we've got this in the uh, so-called replacement for this game, TSW2. I think they're all one-sized in that. Good to see there are still things that Trains is better at. So we're heading for Strasbourg Neudorf. At least I assume that's how you pronounce that. Can't say I'm very good at the German. I've got a yellow signal, so we'll find out if my PZB key is right in a moment. Well, it didn't stop me. I throttled down because I know it's going to change tracks in a moment. I think my heater doesn't know what time it is. It should be on by now, but it's not. <laughs> it's cold. I should introduce, joining me in the disembodied voice department today is Michael from Canada. As always. <laughs> <laughs> And there is a little bit of delay between me talking and he responding, because that's just how streams work. If I got really advanced, I could set up a separate computer, but uh, that could get a whole level, new level of exciting on the sound front. Actually, I'll use this to slow down, because we have a 30 coming up where we cross over onto the other track. It's not slowing down a hell of a lot, even with all that braking force. You'd think it was downhill or something, but it's not. Hopefully it'll slow down by the end of the siding because I don't really want to crash into the end of it. That would be slightly embarrassing. I like this building here. I'll jump out onto the free camera as we go past it. Because it kind of overlaps the train a little bit. Couldn't imagine anybody really being allowed to do that. Going into our siding. This train, normally the brakes are a little bit better than this. So, uh... I wonder if it's up because I'm in passenger PZB mode, but that shouldn't make any difference for the brakes themselves. I wonder if it might. Hmm, may do. One of the other trains I'm going to show you a little bit later on, which is the Wondrous TGB, is very, very good at going very, very fast. 
but that's it. Don't have any expectations about actually being able to stop because it has no brakes. Well, it does, but they don't do anything. Of all the things to have escaped from uh, testing departments, you'd think they'd notice that one, but guess not. Nice slow crawl into our siding here. Basically, we're going to run around the train. I wonder how far I can go. Since the train's got forever. Looks like I can go quite a long way. Some greenhouses. I'm going to run out of modelled, modelled area soon, I think. I guess train sim doesn't stop you like TSW does. The modelling gets more coarse the further you get from the railway. Oops. That's reached the end of something. A building, perhaps? Let's go back to our train, because we... Almost in the right place to try and stop. Put on some normal brakes as well. Ha, oh, they're doing something. What about a bit of independent brake too? I did it. Put on all of the brakes. Now, hopefully, we're, um, oops, wrong key. I want that one. Hopefully, we're um, far enough back that I can still run around. Or do I have to reverse it a little bit? We shall see. Ah, uh, nah, we'll miss that. That'd be good. It's still moving, too, you notice that? Uncouple from the train and move forward. I love the way the carriages are now rolling into me. That's okay. Hope they don't keep rolling. <laughs> I always thought train simulators physics stopped everything moving, but I guess not. Oh, no, they've stopped now. Just got to get him clear of these points. Now, I've learnt the hard way that you need to go almost all the way up to the buffers in this scenario so it can change the points. But while we're waiting, let's change our lights over. And that'll probably do. Hopefully the independent brake will stop it. And let's change into the other cab. Hopefully it's done its thing. Yep, yep. And we did miss the train. Probably not by much, though. But enough. I like scenarios with a bit of shunting and things in them. Is the game loud enough, by the way? fine. Cool. I 
and welcome to the anonymous people who are viewing. You're welcome to uh, jump into the chat if you would like to. I thought I changed those lights. Sure I did. Alright, change them again. Alright, they are now correct. It does have a lot of pantographs, this model. It's got four. I'm guessing for different railways and different voltages. since being in the wonderful world of Europe. Many, many systems. I like the details of the weights on the overhead. It's very nice that they've got those in. Unlike TSW2, the wheels actually go around. It's a very loud group of people on this platform. All patiently or not waiting for their train. At least they're all behind the white line. They're all being nice and safe. Here's our cool little castle thing again. And back we go. Theory, those points have changed for me, but we'll know for sure in just a moment. That looks promising. All right, let's just jump onto the free cam now. Run ahead of this guy. Go up to the carriages. It's interesting there's this platform here in the middle of nowhere for no readily apparent reason. But it is real, I had a look on maps. Nice little market garden off to our left there. Still getting used to my trackball, so excuse the strange camera movements. I've got a different trackball from last week. This one's huge. And I do mean huge. Oops. 
be too much. Just want to come in nice and slow. It'll do. Will it let me couple? Yes, I think. Did I now? Where was this signal, pray tell? TS 2022, folks. It's perfect. Oh, well. I wasn't going to do much more of that particular freight scenario anyway. I was just going to drive it back to the yard, but it would have been nice to actually see it all. So that was an... Interesting occurrence. Anybody else notice a signal right there? I certainly didn't. So that's interesting. Sigh. But anyway, onwards and upwards. So now we're going to play one that actually works. Well, I should point out before we um, play one that actually works, this is interesting. This train's actually missing from the packaging except that it's there. So you see it running around with AIs, you see the 402 with the ICE 2, but you can't drive it. I'm very sad. I think in the packaging it's got a different name, which is why it's confused. But anyway, we're gonna run this one that actually works. And I know it works, you can see by the green tick that it finished. So my uh, response to this route so far is it's a little variable in the quality. It looks really, really, really nice. And for the most part, the signals are really, really, really good, except that one. But that's okay. Sounds like you're buttering some toast there, Michael. This is another nice screenshot. Well done to David. Oh, I'm printing some pages off so that I know what to do with the safety systems on these new routes. Ah. They're all a bit interesting. Okay, let's get this one ready to roll. So we should be able to open the doors. Yes, it's working. And get some lights on. Will the wipers work today? Yes, they will. Excellent. Do I dare turn PZB on? Well, whatever I did enabled something. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, very true. We could crash the train. So it does have AFB, and that turns off by itself when you lose the handle. Should actually put the brakes on so we don't roll away while the doors are open, because that's a game killer. This cab, um, the controls get a little bit blurry. Just So I'll just run through the control F4 settings with your field of view. So that's the best field of view inside the cab, but they're still just a little bit blurry. Almost finished loading our people. We could uh, look outside and have a look at those, I guess. Be nice if rail driver faced the other way. There we go. So we're waiting for all of our non passengers to get into our non train. Although, as usual, there's some coming down the back that are going to miss it because they're too late. That's an interesting thing about the new TSW passengers where they change them so they spawn somewhere nearby and walk to your train. They often miss it now. Whereas when they're on the platform, they didn't. Okay, back to the cab view. And away we go. Actually, what I should do is, and there's no rail driver thing for this, but you can use keys. So let's set AFB to, I hope, 30. Let's just zoom back in a bit. 
Hmm. AFB says it's working, but it's actually not. Let's try that again. RFB. RFB. It's not moving the indicator. I wonder if I confused it by starting to move before I turned it on. Let's just try turning it off again and turn it on again. RFB. Well, I was hoping to show you all working AFB, but... Hmm... All right, we'll try and turn it on again at a future station. We'll try next stop. In the meantime, I'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. I wonder if I can turn it on now. So I was hoping to show you a fully working train, but maybe not. Oops, going a little bit quick. I was looking at the 160 and the hard and madly accelerating, and I looked at the speed and went, ooh, no, not yet. Just look at the size of this yard. It's massive. It is enormous yard. Now we can go faster. So the 146 is a cab car. I forgot what's on the back. There's a 146 down there. So that's our loco. And up the other end, we've got the cab car that we're driving. Another freight. Green on the signals. At least in this one, the brakes work. You can see the station ahead there in the mist. We are 40 seconds late.
wouldn't win myself any friends from the Deutsche Bahn. Oh, look at that. He's impatient, looking at his watch. That'll do. Okay, let's load these people. Let's see if I can actually turn on AFB this time. And it's still not actually moving the indicator, is it? So it's not showing me what speed it's going to be set to. Let's try turning off whatever that was and try to... Turning AFB. Ah, I think that time that worked. So whatever I turned on before RFB. was stopping AFB from working. Fifty, one fifty five, one sixty. Lovely. And we are Our loading's finished, so off we go. Ah, now we can let the computer deal with it. So there's two indications of what AFB is set to. There's the digits 160 and the little red marker on the speedo itself. And AFB on this train is kind of cool because you set it for 160 and it sits on about 158 so it doesn't trigger the safety systems. I like that. In TSW2 you have to set it for 155. There's loads of little industries and sidings along this line. So some good food to make freight scenarios with local freights. I don't know if such things actually exist in Germany, but I'm planning on making some. quickly got out of the city into the countryside. Just I've learnt not to use AFB to slow down in this one. It seems to get annoyed. May have started breaking a little bit early there. It's a very strange sound this one has. It's like having your head inside a pipe. Sounds like someone in my family's awake in the background there. Perhaps they're getting revenge on me for waking them up earlier.
All the stopping markers are right near the end of the platforms. So it looks very much like we've got the wrong side of the tracks over there with the industries and the right side over here with the cute little village. With all of its... I don't suppose it is Tudor when it's uh, in Germany, is it? It must be called something else there, surely. Okay. Back into the cab. There's another one of us. The one thing from this game that I really wish they'd do is uh, tone the reflective light from the headlines off just a little during the day. It's a bit high. So I'm all alone in here today, except for that mysterious cup of coffee with no passenger. Where's my cup of coffee? Where's my legs? Oh no, I've got no legs. Oops, might be a little bit hard to catch up with. Get far enough ahead of him that I've got time to turn around and watch him. Coming up on our next station that I think I'll call Achu, because I can. I'm going to bother going right to the end because it's well and truly in the station. And you will see at the end of this in the career summary screen why you shouldn't be too worried about where you're stopping and things at the moment. Because careers don't seem to earn any points anyway. There's the mysterious train that's not in the game because it's got the wrong name. You should be able to drive that train, but you can't. All right, away we go again. The 
Next, we're going to Bull. Or is it Buell? For those who are old enough, Bueller. Bueller. Anyone? <laughs> Michael's old enough. Save Ferris. It was. I found out recently it had a sequel. And after watching some of the sequel, I discovered why I didn't watch it in the first place. Different people, different writer, not funny. I actually wonder why there's so many sound fences given there's no houses. I guess they don't want to frighten the cows. Just going to invite trouble for a moment here. Just for those people that um, think Transim doesn't use the GPU. Does a bit. Still single threaded though. another town some massive warehouses Looks like a big uh, cathedral or something over there in the distance. Or a castle, maybe? On the right-hand side? After we stop, I'll jump into free cam and go have a look. So visually, this route's very nice within the limitations of the TS engine. Let's just make sure that starts loading. It has. All right, let's go. Where's this castle? There it is. Oh, maybe it's a house. No, it is a church. It's kind of cool, though. It's a camouflage church.
I think we met the person that built these scenarios on the Dovetail stream on my Thursday, I think. So the scenarios are quite good, but if the uh, locomotive worked, that would be really good. Very animated, aren't they? like the sideways rain though, that's kind of cool. K's to Baden Baden. Lots and lots of German countryside. There's that church again. I think it's following us. Another good sized town, but the nice and not nice of side of the tracks is uh, swapped. There are lots of billboards for hamburgers everywhere. It makes me feel like it's America. I should probably start slowing down since we have to stop soon. Good thing this thing's brakes are so good. Too good.
loading up at Baden Baden. I still think the people have a more natural movement in TS than TSW2. They all like, like, look like they're having a good swagger, like they're going down to the nightclub. Or been and going home. Could be. Hey, the clocks work on the station platforms. That's cool. Ready for the big jump? Restat, or restat, or rat tat, or something like that. zone coming up. Just pair the AFP back. And it should slow us down, it seems to be. If you're searching the keys for AFB or um, C for down and Y for up. And you don't have to turn it on. You just move the lever and it turns itself on. Ooh. That was a bit violent, Mr. Train Simulator. That was reminiscent of the Arosa Linny. Except we didn't get thrown into the air. No more express line by the look of it now. Nice excavator doing its thing over there. And back up to 160. The way they've modeled AFB in this, it's like a uh, cruise control in a 1960s car. When you engage it, its foot pushes the pedal to the floor. Oh, another slow point coming up. Make up your mind, railway. Now, interestingly, you notice that I put the throttle off, but the AFB is still slowing me down. In TSW, it doesn't work that way. If you stop, the th put the throttle back to idle, AFB fails. So it's interesting, the differences. And there's our violent deceleration again. Yellow signal back there. Nice bridge.
Welcome to the town of Ratsack. Maybe this is where the Pied Piper lived. I don't think we've got too many more stations to go in this one. One more. Signal is green. Good. Twenty two kilometres to the last station. Wow. I hope we're allowed to go faster than one ten. Travis, thank you. Fresh work. I just noticed your comment there, mate. Sorry about that. Have you switched to the evils of daylight savings today, Travis, in WA? I know New South Wales and Victoria switch on the same day these days, but... I'm not sure about WA. We're coming up on the station where the uh, Harry Potter muggles must live. Muggleston. Let me go inside on this key. Oh well. Oh, some nice little yards there too. I think that will make for some nice shunting scenarios at some point. Look at all those industry tracks. It's about to say no gravel sidings. Yeah, it's a road, so no gravel sidings. Oh, 
That's some pretty heavy rain. Heading back out into the countryside now. So that's where we're headed to. And we're down there. The route is quite large. So we started all the way back down here somewhere. That's where the route goes off to France, on that Y. Renchen. Achu. Mueller. Baden-Baden. Restat. And where we are headed to. Restat is quite large. Water reservoir by the looks. A few cars committing murder out in the bush there. There'll be some poor bloke digging his old grave back there. Another fairly big town. So one good thing about having AFB and not turning on PZB is you can just look around like this. Ooh, tractor poo. Another excavator working away. Coming into Etlingen. Now, just back there. It's an interesting markup for a field. Looks like a basketball ring or a basketball markup with rugby goalposts or American gridiron goalposts. It's a very strange. I would have thought they'd have soccer in Germany. Maybe it is soccer markings. Hmm. Oh well, back to the train. Let's bring our AFB down because we have to slow down. Looks like soccer markings to me, too. Hmm. Perhaps not quite the right goalposts. But you never know. I wouldn't think they'd play American gridiron in this part of Germany, but I suppose in Western Germany they might have. Or might do. Ah, 
Are we going to make it to 80 in time? It's going to be close. Very close. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yellow signal. Coming up to our last station, and I think we might... Actually, no, if I turn AFB off, it'll just go mental. I'll just throttle off, that should stop it bouncing. Or not. Anybody else getting seasick? Let's go outside the train. So there's another line hitting off over that way somewhere. Well, no, no, it just mysteriously ends. <laughs> it looks like there's supposed to be a branch going off there, but it just ends at a building. Very busy little station. There's lots of trains in here. Our passengers are the uh, poor, unfortunate ones. They don't get to come in under a shelter. Now, just before the scenario ends, so I'm not going to hit the loading button just yet. Because I want to go over here. So that's just... Thank you, I think. But this is funny. This would be the English sense of humour. It's grub. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hey, right, let's look. Open our doors. This should be the end. Oops, zoom in, not out. This should be the end of our scenario too when this load finishes and then we'll go on to the next bit which will be the TGV. Did you watch the preview streams, Michael? Did they ever actually drive the TGV in the previews? So I came in at 11.48, so I was on time. Didn't do any overruns, no bad bad signal things anywhere. So I remember that when the achievement screen comes up. So you would think I would have some experience points, wouldn't you? Given this is a career scenario. Yep, nice run. So I've successfully finished the scenario. Not that I can remember. Yeah, I don't think they drove the TGV because it's broken. Notice how many experience points I got for coming in on time, stopping at every station, not speeding anywhere, no hijinks with signals, no monkey business. I should have got experience points, but no. I think it's broken. But anyway, same route. Let's have a look at the TGV. Wherever it's hiding. Somewhere around here there's a TGV. Somewhere. Somewhere. There it is. So we'll try this nice easy one. And we'll see if it does the same thing that it did to me the other day. And I suspect if they didn't drive the TGV they knew about this.
because I don't remember him driving it on the stream, so I haven't been back to have a look, though. I'm going to. After I finish my chores, need to mow the grass and other exciting things. Finish lacquering the new bench for my caravan. Most people would appreciate this. What started out as a simple, hey, let's paint the inside of the caravan, turned into a renovation. Bonjour. So we're going to allow boarding to start. So we'll get our reverser into forwards. Let's start loading. Got some brakes on, that's fine. No throttle. Just jiggle the switches on the rail driver so we get lights and windscreen wipers. No, we don't get windscreen wipers in this train. We shall do them men well. Go. Okay. Windscreen wiper. Or not. There it goes. I might need more than intermittent to go up a notch. Let's go outside. Let's go to where we can actually see it. So it's a pretty thing. It's an inconvenient pole there. My mouse was on the other screen. I do love all the bits of track driven into the ground around the uh, stanchions. I guess that's in the hope that a um, crashing train doesn't take a stanchion out. So if I just go into the free camp, I want to go and look at this train over here. Because I want to see if this is... Because it's definitely a nice two-car set, isn't it? But it's a 101. So that could be the problem of why you can't drive the 406, because the 406 loco isn't here, but the ICE 2 car set is. So they put the wrong loco in the game, perhaps. There's another one over here. Let's see what this one's got. Same, it's a 101. So that's probably what their problem is. Yeah, we're supposed to leave. Let's get back in our train then. All right. Breaks off. Bit of throttle. Now you heard the brakes do stuff, so you heard the air. This is such a massive cockpit. This one's controls stay blurry too, no matter what you do with the field of view settings. All the other gauges are nice, but the digital stuff's blurry. So just as a test, let's try and put the brakes on. They do it a lot, don't they? Some would say nothing. Nothing at all. We can try the throttle in the other direction. So the electric braking slows you down a little bit. Not a lot. You'd think it would slow down a lot faster than that. But the air brakes have got nothing. They just don't exist. You can hear them, so I'll, I'll turn that up so you can hear the air. Isn't that sad? We'll just let the TGV drive away into the distance because there's not much point driving it when you've got no brakes. Bye bye TGV. It's a bloody long thing, isn't it? So this is what I do on the Heritage Railway I'm on. Whenever a train goes past, you just stand there and smile and wave. And all the tourist people think you like them. It's not true. Uh, 
Okay, let us change routes. What if you use the keyboard commands for brakes? Same. Uh, let's go over to... You're not on this screen, are you? Let's go to the route that I thought I owned, but didn't. Ah, so I've run this one, so I know the Acela does actually work, but let's try Supercell, because it sounds interesting. Joke's on you in the frozen in place scenario, because that's exactly what happens to you. You get stuck. <laughs> So I thought we'd jump over to America and have a look at the Washington route because this one's had some significant updates. And I think I mentioned last week that I was pretty sure I owned this route, but I didn't have the DLC. So I must have another one and I was confused. And the weird thing is I kind of remember playing it. But anyway, we're going to operate a Seller Express 2171 from Baltimore to Washington. The weather is shit. And it's going to be bad. And it's just going to suck. So let's get it into forwards and let's get our boarding happening. Let's get some brakes on so we don't roll away. We've got no throttle on. Let's get some lights going. All right. Wipers. Oh, wipers work in this train. That's good. It's uh, handy to materialize inside a beam like that. Is there a cellar? The cellar looks really cool, but they're not very quick. A little bit old school. And they're being replaced currently. So it sounds like some interesting weather going on out there. The night lighting as ever in here. Let's just go into free cam and go and have a look. Night lighting in this game is awesome. All right, let's jump back in the cab. One thing, Michael, do you know how to dim the displays? I haven't found any way to do it. Now this one appears to have safety systems on by default, so you have to behave yourself. I saw a documentary on these tunnels for why they have such a slow speed limits because bricks keep falling out of the roof. And under the current railway rescue package, they're going to be rebuilt. Because in the wonderful world of politics, America now has a railway friendly party. That's distinct from the other one, which is a railway unfriendly party.
It'd be interesting to see how much they can get done in either four years or eight years, depending on how it goes at the next election. Had some interesting political machinations in Australia too. New South Wales Premier being allegedly caught with her hand in the cookie jar. So there is something for screen light that I can see in the manual. Is it a key press? Yes, yeah, so it's up by the emergency brake knob just to the left of it. Oh, there's a dimmer. That turns it on and off. So I can turn them off. And that puts a light on. Yeah. What I was hoping for is something to um, dial that back so I can actually read it. Because oh, okay. it's so bright. You know, I never noticed that before. That would appear to be... Huh. A Manuel. We should probably speed up a little bit. We'll never get to the high speed bit. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I, um, on a trip to America, I paid the extra to ride the Acela because it sounded like fun. Oh, what do we got here? Down tree at Seabrook. Contact you again with things. See, I remember that scenario. But anyway, as I was saying, I paid extra for the uh, to ride the Acela, and it broke down, so they gave us a normal train anyway. So I paid the extra and got a normal city train. We didn't stop anywhere, but it wasn't quick. And that was from Philadelphia to New York. 
And I think it was meant to take a bit over an hour and it took something like two and a half. I think I know where I remember this route from. And I think it... I definitely am confused because I think it's from a game from 20 years ago and it's got this scenario in it. The down tree on the Acela. That would be Train Simulator, the original. As distinct from Train Simulator 2022, which is this one. Where is... Where is Seabrook, do you reckon? Is that one me? Yep, that one's me. That was a yellow signal, but no, it's just a straight light. That'd scare the shit out of you if you're standing on the platform minding your own business. Proceed not exceeding 60 miles an hour until proceed advised otherwise. Well, that's boring, isn't it? No wonder this scenario is so long. You have to go at half speed. Coming up to our first stop.
With BWI, we be what? Baltimore Washington International. Would that makes sense. I guess it would. an undrivable AI train going in the other direction. I'm sad it's undrivable because then you could have a stops all stations train which is more fun than an express. Maybe there's a mod that makes it drivable. I have to have a look. Alright then. So many passengers. Cruising along in the darkness. told we'll be able to do international travel again soon but uh, I'm not sure whether to book tickets or not there's still so much uncertainty we had to cancel our trip
At this point, I'm wondering if I should ignore my dispatcher's instructions and drive at 125. Twenty-two fifteen. That's a long time. a little quicker than the dispatcher ordered but that coming hill coming up will fix that big trucking depot in a forest go figure So at this rate, it's going to be 35 minutes of watching this happen. If you guys are happy to keep watching, I'm happy to keep playing. <laughs> i got nothing else to do. I've got stuff to do, I just don't want to. Certainly a dark old night.
between mileposts 124 and 125. We have to go really, really slowly. Okay. At least they nicely put go vias in there, so I don't have to try and read every sign. It's kind of funny, but being in this environment makes you feel cold. Hmm. Quite understandably, it's pouring rain. Yellow with flashing green. come down to 45. It's a good thing that ATCS and access on this train are advisory only, or I would have stopped then. I assume this is a station. Looks like it.
Are we on track one? Three miles till the super slow noisy bit. Go by train, they said. Storms don't affect trains like they do planes, they said. I suppose at least in a train you don't have to worry about landing. So we can speed back up to our previous instructed 60. That's good. Not far off our 10 mile an hour section with much honking. Be interesting to see if they've actually put a crew there. We're only supposed to do 10, but 15 will do.
Yeah, there really is a crew here. You can't not get a screenshot. Cool. You know, I'm tipping. Oops, I'm in a train. But if it really looked like that, there's no way they'd let a train go past on that track. They just wouldn't do it. Because they wouldn't want it energized. Him yet? These people will be going, hey, it's stopping, it'll pick us up. Sorry. Bye. None for you. I assume given the 45 we'll be going to back to track 3 shortly. Flashing green coming up.
back onto track two. Should head over to track three shortly. For the people who have just joined us, we finished with the uh, Karlsruhe route and we're just playing the updated Washington route at the moment. And I forgot my bell. Naughty. Slow down again, we should be crossing over to track three shortly. I think the people that joined were so eager to see the German route, they actually just left when I said we weren't playing it anymore. Okay. Hopefully they'll go back to the start. Watch it from the beginning. Be a switching spot. Just jam the brakes on because I want to have a look. There really was another Acela just sitting there. Look at that. Waiting for us. Actually, that one's not an Acela. It's an ACS 64. Hmm. Wish I'd been in the cab then. I just stopped because I wanted to have a look. Heading back up to our restricted speed of 60, because we haven't been told we can go faster than that yet.
So in America, it's just called big. Not grub. Maybe that's what grub means in German. Maybe it means big. At the risk of upsetting my stream. I need to know. I'm doing the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, gob translates to rough. Okay. So it's a rough burger. Sounds like a ZZ Top song. No, actually, I just typed it in and I got the exact same thing. As in rough. So well, that billboard is right. Hmm. No, it's. I put in English, put big, and in German, it has it as G R O B. Okay. I got that. Weird. Uh, it's an adjective. Um, I... Large, great, big, tall, high, and wide. Hmm. Oh, I know what's probably different. Oh, I didn't put in the umlaut. You're going... Do it the opposite way. Go English to German. Yeah, and then it'll probably get an umlaut on it, and it'll have a different meaning. Because it'll have the little dots above the, the O. I'm betting... We're going for distance now. Center player. Zoom back out. Oh, not far to go now. Almost there. We have to slow down to 45 again shortly by the looks of things. I'll just let this hill wash the speed off. yellow with green flashing. Passengers will be going, oh, come on, we're almost there. He's slowing down again. What's going on? Coming into our final station shortly, by the looks of it.
I like the way the brakes on this go from little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. Oh. I'm glad those points were set that way. I was getting a little bit worried about that red dwarf signal there. This could be famous last words, but we've made it and the game didn't crash. <laughs> and it stopped raining. Woohoo! Oh no, it doesn't. She'd be going, get that bright light out of my face, you bastard. What is that just hanging in the air there? And unload. Just out of curiosity. No, I don't want to be in. No, it is inside my train. There it is. It's an insulator that was just hanging there in the air for no readily apparent reason. You got to get off now. Last stop. No one likes you. Better get off. Get off. No, you're not going to get off. You're just going to sit there. Yeah, that'd be the bartender then. And she sells pizza and burgers by the looks of it. Good o then. Some more passengers. You, know, you really got to get off. You just do. Can't stay here. Well, I suppose you can. It is cold outside. All right, then. Let's uh, finish that up. And that will be the end of today. So we'll be streaming again next Sunday. Daylight savings does apply. So we'll... Uh, See you next week. I think the uh, London commuter should be out in time for next week's stream. I kind of get that impression. They did the first stream last week. They usually do another two streams in the next week, and then they release it on 3 a.m. Australian time. Actually, be, be 4 a.m. Australian time now. It's almost civilised. It's that quiet moment where no one's awake, not even thieves. Just the people coming home from nightclubs that closed at four. Anyway, next week we'll probably be playing the Brighton London Midland. 
and there's a bunch of other updates coming out as well. I think the Meisen branch is coming out at the same time for the uh, German route that came out a couple of weeks ago. And I think there's some updates as well, I've heard, for uh, the American route that came out. So we'll see if they come out as well. That will be good if they do. We'll have lots of stuff to play with. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for joining again on the chat, Michael. And we shall see you next week. I welcome any and all feedback. Feel free to comment on the video. Constructive criticism is welcome, especially if I've got something wrong. I stream every Sunday morning starting at 8.30am. And I also do ad hoc streams from time to time during the week. Please subscribe and click notify to avoid missing out. Subscribing helps me by helping me see what content is good and how it helps the channel grow, or doesn't as the case may be.